Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, guess who this is? This is Alex, and this is the Ramble for our last week of the year here on GabNet. Welcome to the Christmas edition of Time with Lori. Hello, Lori Thompson. Hi, golly, if I had a little puppy and a glass of Chardonnay, I'd be Kathy Lee Gifford. <laughs> <laughs> and you got a Christmas tree. Uh, now, let me ask you a question, because, you know, I never had a Christmas tree. Well, I did a couple of times, because sometimes when you marry a Jewish wife, uh, the yeah. first Christmas they're away from home and living with you, they uh -huh. suddenly want a Christmas tree, because they never had one. Right. Okay. I read about that. The Yuletide Rebellion. Yeah. yeah and then I, so then I went out, this was with uh, Ronnie. I went out and bought a Christmas, maybe it was Susan. I can't remember. I went out and bought a Christmas tree. <laughs> and then we, we didn't realize you had to have a stand for it. <laughs> we, oh. <laughs> we thought these things. So you know, we just put them up against the wall or whatever. So then we went down and we bought, all, we suddenly bought all the things paraphernalia you had to have for a tree which was right. the uh, was the stand right which you had to put the screws in just right so the tree was upright very and that could take hours yeah 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 and then uh then we had to string the lights that was oh, yeah. a, another thing we didn't know how to do so you know we had <laughs> did that about five times and finally we had to figure out what to put on the top of the tree and we weren't going to put a star you know, well, too, that's oh, too Christian. That is very, that is over the line. Yeah. So we put Bugs Bunny on the top of the tree. Oh, that's cool. See, yeah. that's personal. Yeah. I like that. And on a cross, crucified. Anyway, no, 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 no. So anyway, that was our, that was our Christmas, you know, and, and uh, uh, it was quite a, quite a deal for us. You know. Yeah, you can still get those Bugs Bunnies on a cross at the Warner Brothers Dark Shop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. But anyway, so, and then uh, I was watching uh, Donald Trump, and he had a Christmas tree in back of him. You know what he topped it with? A, ma no. a MAGA cap. You're kidding. Now that... No, you're... Of course you're not kidding. I'm not no. kidding. Isn't that... No. How, how, how wrong is that? Well, when he confused the tree, you know, with a tree stand. And so you're just, you know, a hall tree. Now, so he was on yeah, the concept. Now, when it came time for the tree, who did the tree? You or your husband or both of you? Oh, he, well, actually, he gets it out of the attic, which is the biggest deal. Wait a minute, he gets and the that, tree out of the attic? We have an artificial tree. Oh, oh but, that's an artificial oh, tree. It looks great. Yeah. Thank you. I was gonna didn't want to destroy the magic, but well, well yeah. you know, it's better than going out and buying a real one. Yeah, in many you don't ways. Need to sell. Well, you don't but get you don't. I remember the one thing was after Christmas, all the pine needles in the, yeah. in the house. You know. Yeah, they will hide under your couch for months. Oh, you you so, probably have them in the house till the next Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. So I got this. I wasn't in the Christmas spirit at all, and I was just cruising around like right before Christmas yeah. and I saw it. I saw this in a big shopping center. They had a Goodwill and in the window they had this tree and it yeah. was fully decorated. And I said, I'll give you $12 for that tree as it is if I can take it out of the window now. And they said, okay. And cause it was late and it was late in the Christmas season. So I took it, got some of my own ornaments. I took photos of all my friends. Okay, how much did the yeah. how much how much the phony tree cost? I just want to know. Twelve bucks at Goodwill. <laughs> Twelve bucks. Okay, now let's continue with the story. Yeah, and so I made ornaments that year. Um, since I had to scramble and I didn't really have any accumulated ornament collection like many people do. Yeah. You know, oh, it's the tradition from '75. I don't have that. Yeah. So I made Christmas ornaments. I took photographs, tiny photographs of all, of all my friends. And I pasted them on walnuts. 
and put them on the tree. Oh, I put spray painted the walnuts. Various oh, colors. I, okay, okay. Yeah, it was, yeah. it was in my Martha Stewart phase, so we had all kinds of colors of ornaments. Maybe you were a yellow, maybe you were a red, but you could stand back and find your ornament all over the tree. Okay, but here's the thing. You didn't buy a real tree. How much do no. you, I, I found this out the other day from one of my Gentile listeners. Uh, how much trees cost today? Oh, you can pay upwards of 200 bucks for a good one, you know, for a really like- I heard, I heard 75 for the average tree now. For what? the average, yeah. But some of these like boutique Christmas lots, you can pay 200 bucks for one and not be all that impressed when you get it out. Once I, Go. when I bought that first Christmas tree, Okay, uh, yeah. uh, I'm remembering it as somewhere like, I don't know, $12, $15? Yeah, which I got the lights and everything for my Goodwill tree and the tree and the whole bunch. That was in 2021. Wow, so you're really saving money with that tree and it doesn't look, it looks real. Oh, I've had it for six years. I can never throw it away because it's like, if you're not in the Christmas mood, yeah. You just put it up. It's no ha well. It, now it's a hassle because we have accumulated all kinds of ornaments that I will put on this tree. Yeah. But uh, but it it takes no time. I I took a vase that I had and used it as a tree stand, which works fine. Yeah. And then uh, we we get ornaments wherever we travel, so we have a lot of them now. So. Yeah, yeah. You're breaking up yeah, a little bit on me right now, but I think it'll clear up because probably bandwidth. Uh, if you move yourself a little bit, we can see a little more of the tree. If you move over towards okay. the tree, oh, let's because move the camera has a tendency to follow you. Do you yeah. need me to move more? No, I just want to see a little more of the tree, just to see how how it looks. How tall is it? Um, it is oh, not tall. I would say four feet, but four and a half, five with a stand. Yeah, yeah. and okay. I have it on our brick mantle, so so that's very nice. Well, thank it's you for twelve cool. bucks. What that you, was years ago. What do you What do you top it with? Well, we have a little blue. Uh, it came with a little blue star, so I figured that will be its legacy. You know, we'll keep the star till it you know, deteriorates yeah. and we can't. Yeah. So, is, it, is it leaning over now? The the tree. I might be poking at it, but it's not leaning. No, oh, it's not okay. leaning. Okay. All right. All right. I just want to make I sure. Make, it's, I do it sometimes. I wanted to make sure its plum was correct. Yeah, and plus, if I go to a costume party, I can just impale myself on it and go with Sonny Bono or one of the many Kennedys who's died on the ski slopes. God, I look like I've got some kind of sore down here, but I don't. No, well, be it's celebrate the shadow. The fact that it's, a, it's a shadow. Yeah, it's a oh. shadow. Wow. Anyway, it, by the way, if you hear any noise outside, folks, it, it, maybe you do, and she doesn't. It's uh, they're, they're doing drilling and everything outside. They're completely tearing up our courtyard. And well, it, we we're saying if it if they find oil in your courtyard, won't they be? Uh, won't they have to disperse the billions with the tenants? It, of course, of course, they they share fixing stuff, and they also share the, the uh, if we got uh, oil, if we oil. found oil. Yes, yeah. that's how that's how those HOAs. We have work. this courtyard. You've, you've been here, right? You've seen it's the courtyard. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Well, it's it needs taken care of, which is some of what they're doing now. They're uh, getting rid of all the dirt and replacing the dirt and replanting trees in there and so on. So it, it, they're doing some work on it. But uh, the, um, the courtyard is as old as the building, which is 20... You know, it had a timeless kind of really cool quality. Which is 23 years. Uh huh. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I feel like I have to sneeze. Hold on. Uh. Oh, you would have been right at home on this cruise I took, which that seemed to be mandatory in the elevators. You had to sneeze on Lori as much as you could. Oh really? You know? Oh gosh. Oh, we're gonna talk about the cruise. We'll talk about the cruise in a second. Okay. Okay. And then then we'll we'll okay. Uh, but first, uh, where was I? You were talking about sneezing a lot, and then you were talking about the courtyard. Oh, the courtyard. Oh, the courtyard. So the courtyard is 23 years old, uh, 123 years old. Yeah, I thought it doesn't seem like it was built in the odds. Yeah, and I have a photograph of it in 1912. Really? Yes. Oh, 
Yeah. Oh, you should frame it and put it in your living room. Well, the thing is, there are a lot of things that it had like, four, uh, how many? Eight lights, eight light stands, and one for each quadrant. Uh, yeah. Much like the light stands we had, and they were they lit up and they oh it was beautiful, just terrific. Mm -hmm. But they haven't that done anything to it. You know the coping, which is the uh, cement around the courtyard that holds all yeah. the dirt in for the quadrants, uh, is going. It just looks terrible. You know. And they don't well, if you're lucky, out. you'll get someone who has a historical view of landscaping and looks at old pictures. Yeah. And look. At the, looks at things that were con things that were popular at the time yeah. of your, your yeah. building. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, so they need to take care of the coping, and it, it really needs a lot of work. But it's a beautiful courtyard. It and, is beautiful. And if it's they would just timeless. if they would do something with it, I think it would look gorgeous. But they, you know, these these landlords say, you know, they don't want to spend money. <laughs> I'm surprised. Yeah, they're, I'm surprised they're doing this. I think it's to prevent the leakage that's been going on in the in the basement. So, oh, well, they can then they can write it off as necessary. Maybe. Well, because they have tree. They had a tree in there, and the tree's mm -hmm. roots were going down into the basement. You know, and oh, then causing but, leakage. What do they do? Do they cauterize in the basement? What do they do? I don't know what they do. I've, I haven't. I haven't. Haven't even wanted to ask. <laughs> my friend is in Sonoma is a tree surgeon he would know all that stuff really? and we just had, yeah we had a tree taken down in the backyard and it was three men actually you know two guys that seemed to be working and another who was an old uncle who was you know he, he was on the payroll yeah. and uh they're old Italian so uncle. what did you do with but the tree they took it really? See, that's what you have to, you have to uh make sure of when you get a tree taken down that they're going to cart it off Otherwise, they'll just leave in your backyard. Many hmm. unethical papers would do that. But we had it carved. Yeah, but off. wouldn't the tree just kind of, after a while, just turn into mulch? It would, but its chances of falling on the house are much greater. Oh, 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 oh I see. Okay. Yeah. Well, just because it's dead inside. Was it a huge inside. tree? It was a very big tree. It was a. Uh, an oak, a laurel oak. I a think laurel oak, it. and it was, it, I guess it was, it was di dead, right? It was. It was just dead inside, so there's basically nothing really holding it up. But okay, the all right, all right. Okay, well, then the you, had, you had to get rid of it. <laughs> it yeah, what I hate, I'll tell you what I hate. Every year, they do a tree in Rockefeller Center. You know about that. They have the big tree yeah, lighting yeah. on television and everything. And where we do they, where do they get it. this tree? They send this guy up to up north to start looking at trees mm -hmm. and then they find a tree that's huge which means it's been yeah. there for you know 75 years or something like that and they chop it down and bring it down to radio city music hall or and, rockefeller and center rockefeller yeah. center and you know you're killing a beautiful tree yeah just so people can go oh i love all the lights in rockefeller center Get yourself what what well what Lori got. Go down to Goodwill, get the biggest phony tree you can buy, and put it in Rockefeller right. Center. Exactly, or have some criteria. It would be nice to look at their criteria for just yanking an old, you know. Well, this a, year, a this year it was tree. some it was some uh, tree on a fa in a family house on, <laughs> uh, over to the side of a family house. Uh -huh. And they sold the damn thing to Rockefeller Center. They came along, chopped the damn thing down, and just hauled well, it. Well, uh, you know, and that's <laughs> terrible because that tree had to be, you know, it was huge, 75 years old, you know. Yeah. At and least. Can you imagine the, the inner life of the tree has to be fine. I pay my dues. I get to the, my golden Look years. how beautiful I, I am. Oh, wait a minute. What are they doing? <laughs> God, stop you that. Just, I give you shade, and yeah. then you come and the pieces for a bunch yeah, of skates. Yeah, and then you do that to me. So, listen, it, 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 between the last time and this time, you went on a cruise. Oh, gosh. Yes, and I, you know, uh, we love, let me, let me, you know, disclaim this by, we love as America cruises. They're small. They're less than 700 people, and the food is fantastic. Um, my husband's a big dessert lover, so those are over the top. And it's just a this really is Amer great cruise you're talking about. It's no, no, no. As Amera. As Amera. As Amera. I gotta get. I gotta write that name down before we leave. 
Yeah, as yeah, Amara. So many people, and I'm glad we had that experience because then I didn't seem so jaded to me on this cruise because it was named, it's the one named after, um, it, it, it uh, implies that you're going to be hobnobbing with authors and movie stars well, that, and icons. Uh, is that like you're, you were a celebrity. Yes, uh. much like that. Much like that. Oh, you can show off my cookies. husband wants to show you his cookies. I mean, his here, cookies. Been, oh, wow. Wow. All. Wow. And then, and then we put them in colorful containers and take them to the neighbors. That's my job. Come on down and get some. Hey, okay, I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> Boy, are we getting fast? To, the tree looks smaller when he backed up. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You can see the price tag still on it, like a mini pearl. But anyway, uh, um, um, those are lovely, uh, lovely baking he did. He, you don't have to cook anymore or anything, do you? No, he's awesome in that department. He's awesome at that. He loves to cook. We have great meals. He got. He has not one but two Instapots, so he does all of that, and I'm always surprised. And then he bakes. He took up baking. He makes the best carrot cake I've ever tasted. Sorry, Grandma. Um, and it just is delicious. It's all in the icing with the carrot cake and the, the four hours of dicing carrots, too. That, that plays a role. Yeah, yeah. So I occasionally act as sous chef, meaning if there's veggies to dice. or I'm always the sous chef, but you, yeah. know, you have to have a good one. Wow. To wow. turn out creative qual culinary creations. Wow. So anyway, where were we? We were talking about cruises in general. Oh, yeah. So and you went on this cruise, which uh, we, uh, was is named after a celebrity or is a celebrity? Oh, no. Uh -huh. I don't know. I don't know either. You know, I just know it's that kind of. Well, that's you, kind are of you afraid because they know who you are that if you put, to put them down and name them, that they will come out to your house and kill you? No, I wouldn't put them. I, I don't know. I can't say I've ever taken every celebrity cruise. Maybe there's some that are great, but they take the entertainment is everything I wouldn't go to see if I was in Vegas. Okay. Now it's All right. well, So you went on this cruise. Did it have yeah. entertainment like that? It did. Oh my gosh. I felt like I was at a bad roadhouse in Vegas. Yeah. But the thing is, no, I mean, in that, that that's the way the spectator feel. The performances are great. I got to say that. Well, I mean, I but, don't want that on a cruise. I'm sorry. No, I thought of it this morning. It's like high school. There's this cruise director and they're lovely people. I'm sure they'd be fun to have as friends. But everything is so over the top. Are we having a good time? You know, I want you to shout if I, you know, if I mention the name of your cafeteria director, because he is aces. And it's oh, just, you know, boy. I felt like I'm being, oh, you can't boy. leave people in it's going, it's like time. It's like going to summer camp or something oh, yes. like that. That's summer camp slash high school those very apt and you're, they're always wanting to can i see your c pass which is a laminated card with your information on it and you always have to pro, you know proper your c pass whether you're getting an alcoholic beverage or going rock climbing you know and you always have to your c pass is or, always or riding the ferris wheel on the boat or riding the roller coaster on the boat i mean that's yeah. what i hate about those things i would never want to be stuck on them yeah, no, I didn't. Uh, I didn't ever experience roller coasters. I gotta say, we've yeah. been lucky that way. <laughs> or Ferris wheels. And I don't mind children, except when they scream and demand But you too did. Much. You did. You did. Did you enjoy their version of Mamma Mia? <laughs> I, you, know? you put the nail on the head, though. Really? That's the thing that it is. What was the musical they were doing? Uh, they were doing, it was called something that began with a millennium, I think, yeah. millennium. And the, their dancers are great. No, the that's, singer, that's fine. I want to take me to a Broadway theater and show it to me. I don't want it on a boat. You know? Oh, right. I don't want it shrunk down to scale. Well, when I go yeah. on a boat, I want, okay, this is the old person in me. This is the 84-year-old Alex. I'd like a little peace and quiet. All I want is a cool place to read. There, it's by the pool usually. My friend and, Shecky used to sometimes just say, "Stay in his room and read," and they had a little deck, so he would sit out on the deck and read. Yeah, you in know? the veranda, 
you will have one in your room probably. And the Randa is great. It's always to your control, which is one thing. But I would I spent a lot of time looking for the perfect place to read because I loved you that it had sunshine, that it had uh, you know if I yeah. wanted the pineapple. So juice. and I would imagine that your husband, the seasoned cruiser. Right. He is a better cruiser than I am, yeah. and he plans them. But he so, probably doesn't like this kind of cruise either, does he? No, yeah. no. We love Azamara. We are, in fact, they're not paying us anything, but we are real. Well, Mar advocates. Marjorie's looking for something. I, I, I saw one the other day. I saw one of these Viking cruises where they only have 160 people on the boat. That's great. He goes, you know? Yeah. Yes. Well, um, but you're, you're stuck with those folks, and you find stereotypes of every single kind yeah um female trophy wives uh guys in golf shirts that talk too loud you know and are always talking about what they have you find all the everything that i loathe about being human you yeah. will find on one of these huge cruise ships yeah but on the smaller ships you, you oh uh, look at me look what's happening to my picture you have the Empire State Building. What, what is that right all? Now. What is that all about? Hold on a second. You're going awry. I have man. a way of fixing this. I think I have a way of fixing this. Because as we've established, uh, you here are we the go. William. There, I, st uh, I stop my there, and then I put, do the. There we go. Clever. That's how you do it, kids. Okay. That's how you yeah. <laughs> but no, I. If your first cruise experience, maybe. But it wasn't our first cruise experience. And I just feel like all the things I love right. about being human are shoved in my face repeatedly on yeah. those big yeah. Exactly, t exactly. You know, and, and uh, but so, the, the, you know, we're going to think about taking some cruises. And Marjorie goes, well, I just, uh, I want the ones with small boats, you know. Small boats. Small yeah. boats. As, yeah. Azamara is probably the biggest small boat. Azamara. Azamara. It's great. Yeah. yeah, and they don't condescend to you. They're not in your way. They're not, you know, ha you know, they're not that false. I don't want that. Fun. Just leave me alone. I want to be on the boat. Yeah. I'll go. I'll, yeah. I'll go. I'll go to the the cafe I want to go to. You know. Yeah. Just leave me alone. You know? Yeah. And let me. I'll go hiking or I'll go line. You know, zip lining. Or we did have a fun kayak tour. Yeah, the, you know what I don't want to do though is that when they come on shore. Yeah. And they take you on a uh, they take you on a little tour. Take this, your sea pass. <laughs> yeah, you take your sea pass. They always have you this person with a sign that's going around. I've watched these people. I, I've been on vacation yeah. and I've seen these people come through. And there's a person with a sign, so they'll all follow the sign, and they go. And this is thus and thus church and blah 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 blah. And I don't want to be one of those people. Because no, I, I've had I to look at those people and resent them. Okay, yeah. you and, know. and that's what it, that's what it builds. It builds. Uh, hey, we're taking too much time here, not enough time there. And the reason they have a sign is because at Celebrity they slap the number on your chest, <laughs> indicating which excursion you are. Yeah, and exactly. I don't want thing. any of that. I, I'd like if I'm going to go ashore. I just want to go explore myself. That's you know? it. See, and maybe I'll miss know. something you would have taken me to, but so be it. I'd rather do that than be one of the people that somebody looks at and goes, look at those idiots. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Who wants that? But I was one of those because we did take a pool, uh, fun excursion into some caves. It was on Curacao or Aruba. Curacao. It was in Curacao, which I liked. And uh, in spite of the Cheyenne Brady Tiki doll episode, when the Brady Bunch went to Hawaii mm -hmm. and she had bad luck, she removed the Tiki doll from a historic site. I did remove a coin, my husband and I have a thing about dimes, from the caves of Curacao. Wait, but you and found a called, dime in the caves of Curacao? Yeah. Because someone there, has, there was a collection, it wasn't a fountain, because this is all natural, it's called the Hato Caves. Mm -hmm. And in caves, there are large puddles of water. And since people have been conditioned through movies, you know, three coins in the fountain, to throw money into water, standing water when you're on vacation, yeah. it carried over to the hot tub caves. And this dime, well, it's not even a dime, was just speaking to me. And it was yeah, just so about what you did was, wait a minute, you stole somebody's wish. I, yeah, I stole somebody's wish. You so now horrible, I get horrible person. How dare you steal somebody's wish? 
So now their wish is in my hands. <laughs> I have to fulfill your wish. If that doesn't frighten you, I don't know what does. Oh boy. <laughs> but, oh boy. But, but then people were commenting behind me. Oh, she doesn't know how to behave on a celebrity cruise. Da, 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 look at her. Oh, she God, I hate, I hate this. I hate this. You know, we just want, we just want to go on a cruise and just take it easy and see stuff if we don't want to see stuff or go ashore if we want to go ashore, but not with somebody with a big sign saying, follow me. That's it. If you want to feel like um, a cattle, go go on a yeah. celebrity cruise. Yeah. And like, you know, occasionally they I have think, the I think there are cruises like this, as Amara you mentioned, that the play to people like me who don't want that nauseating experience of being a tourist, yeah. you know? Yes, and Avalon does that. I would say go with, you can find cruises of 400 or less, which is fine by me. I mean, everywhere I mean, I've ever been, I've hated the tourists. I mean, San Francisco, I hated oh, the tourists. Because it's yeah. all, yeah. Remember I had, that, I had that thing about everybody should like uh, spit on a tourist when they see them? Because then they, <laughs> the word will get out, don't go to San Francisco because they'll spit on you. Well, that's yeah. true. Yeah. <laughs> because I always found the tourist to be the most horrible thing that comes to San Francisco. And Well, they're on bad behavior. They're on vacation. I'm an elitist. You're here to cater to my every whim. Well, this, I don't this have building, to. every now and then we have people outside giving tours and telling all about this building that we're in. You know, it's it's 123 years old. It was built by the Astors, you know. Yeah. So oh. it has a history, a real sure. history. Uh, Wait till your courtyard's and what, done. And what do they do? This movie, was, this was in um, New Jack City. And this this was, your building? This, yeah, this was the building that they took over in New Jack City, or way over time, to hell with it, that w was in New Jack City. So 123 years, oh, this was built by the Astors, blah, blah, blah. No, uh, people go, oh, this is the Carter. That was the name of the yeah. building they put on there. It was actually called the Graham Court, but they put a different sign up there and said the Carter. I will take cabs. And they leave me off here, and they look at the building, and they go, oh, you live in the Carter? <laughs> you know, it does nothing says the Carter. It says the Graham Court, but that's that's its reputation after th 123 years is that it was a crack house in New Jack City. <laughs> this is its resume, yeah. our architectural resume. Hey, listen, but, yeah, what? Um, no, it's just good to see you because I I know you had a birthday recently, and I just want to tell you how important. Precious is a precious word, but precious you are in my life. Well, you are the same in mine. And uh, do I look not at 84? No, I, I've told you that. No, no. Well, <laughs> my husband just goes, how old is he? <laughs> oh, 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 older than you. Older than you, smart Alec. I young man. Over 80. <laughs> yeah. I'm, 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 I'm at a point where I can say to somebody like your husband, I'm old enough to be your father. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, how old is he? 69. 69. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I he, I could have been his father. Well, if you'd been really active since you were 9. You know, yeah, sexually yeah, yeah. I didn't I didn't have sex till I was 18, so uh I didn't until 21. What? So 21? I, yeah. We were late yeah. bloomers, but we made up for it, didn't we? Well, some would say. Some yeah, would say. Some <laughs> would say. Well, I want to wish you a very uh, merry, a ha very ha a, a happy new year. Let me say that. I won't wish you a merry like Christmas, but a happy holiday season. And uh, you know, it's uh, my the great treat is this year we got together again and started doing these things, and I just absolutely love them, and so does the audience. So Good. you know, in the next year we're going to try and do something even bigger with this, but. Uh, I keep saying we will, and I'm just so lazy that I never, you know. You know, if it's around. meant to be, it will. And this has been and our Christmas edition, and longer than we usually do. Uh, but uh, I love you, dear, and uh, let's uh, let's get together the first week of the new year and do this again, okay? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, that's her nibs. What? <laughs> remember they, her nibs, Miss Georgia Gibbs? Do you ever remember that? I don't remember. I just I, I, and I wonder what is a nib, you know. <laughs> but there's her nibs, Lori Thompson. Thanks, Lori. Awesome.
Bye bye. Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. And that there she was, there she goes and went. And that was Lori Thompson, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and uh, we really enjoyed having her here all the time and appreciate what she's doing. And in the coming year, we're planning on doing maybe a, an hour with her and Chuck Farnham and a, a whole show, uh, be kind of separate from this one. Okay? All right? Anyway, uh, I've been work. Oh, part of the thing was when you were watching that, did you notice it moved around a little bit? What it was, earlier today, I tried to get a line that was along the side of the street uh, screen off, so I kind of enlarged the frame, and then all of a sudden I noticed that the gab net was like half down off the page. So I had to go redo it and resettle it and so on. So if you looked at it moving around a little bit, that's the reason why. Because uh, Daddy, you can call me Daddy now, uh, Daddy just never... Uh, uh, really made the thing happen correctly. Anyway, uh, it's time to go to see our uh, people here uh, on our. Uh, uh, well, we've got uh, we've got qu quite a few people here, so we'll go to them and check them out and put them up on Zoom and say yeah. hello to them. Hello, 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 Jeff. How are you? Yeah, hey. hello. Uh, oh, time to go oh boy. To see our uh, people here uh, on our. Uh, uh, well, we've got uh, we've got quite a few people here, so we'll go to them and check them out and put them up on Zoom and say hello. To oh, okay. Why don't you do that before you come on? <laughs> that'd, that'd be too easy. Be too easy. <laughs> exactly. Let's see your full face, Jeff. We got to see who the guy was. That you want to see me? Was the guy who did that? Yeah. And hello to Charlie Wallace. How are you doing, Charlie? Good. Yeah. And, uh, mm. uh, and of course, Brian Neary, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, listen, since she's not there, I want to ask you a question about, uh, about, uh, about uh, Adrian. Okay. Yes. Uh, what have you told her about Santa Claus? <laughs> what about Santa Claus? Well, what have you told her about Santa Claus? I mean, have you told her there is a Santa Claus? Or does she not believe yes, there's... there is a Santa Claus. There is a Santa Claus. Okay. Yes, there is a Santa Claus. Okay. I just want to know, when are you going to tell her there isn't? There isn't? No. <laughs> she isn't back there, is she? No, she's not back there. Oh, okay. No, I'm just wondering... I'm going off already. <laughs> no, I was just wondering, or before we went on, I, I thought, you know, like... Uh, yeah, as, long as, it, as long as it keeps going, right, Charlie? Did Jeff, yeah. as long as it keeps going, right? She's... We never told them. They found out. Yeah, yeah, she, <laughs> but did they come... Me her, she's giving me her list of the things that she wants, and I told her no more stuff until, you know, that, and, yeah, well, you yeah. know. Which Ferrari model did she want? <laughs> <laughs> she's into skin care right now. Oh, she's into, eight years old. Uh, Very nice. She's wow. is she's eight now. You mean, yeah, she, we, we she's into skin care. When did we start having her on here? She was like three or four, four. wasn't she? Yeah. yeah, I think so. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Oh, but go back and look. Yeah, but now she's into skin care. Well, you know, she doesn't want to get those wrinkles. You know. And then we go to Sephora and she goes, Oh, Daddy, this one right here. And I'm like, Okay, this little thing is like $92. I'm like, no, I'm not you. <laughs> Let's go to Target. Uh, she, yeah, really. She learns those terms like Sephora, huh? Yeah, maybe Dollar Tree. Yeah. There's, uh, there's, uh, there's, a, uh, there's Kevin. He's, uh, what is that? What is Better that of time. Matter of time. Matter of time. Matter of time. Glad you can read at the oh, angle. Okay. I can't. I, I don't get it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's only a matter of time. Oh, uh, there you go. Oh, okay. I missed oh, you. I'm sorry. I didn't yeah. know I was on. Oh, we didn't just, know I was on. I we thought you, you were... off your sexy body. No, we, we were thinking <laughs> yeah. maybe you were trying to tell us something with the shirt or something. So. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. That was a uh, shirt my daughter designed for high school oh it's very nice it was one of her one of her performances 
Well, the marching band performances. By the way, you've ago. been you've been doing some videos the last couple of days, haven't you? Yeah, they had the sac, uh, San Jose saxophone Christmas last weekend, and I recorded all that for them. I do that every year. Oh, okay, all right, yeah. Well, it's nice to see that uh, those things go up there, and I get them all the time because I subscribe to you. Yeah, they had almost uh, almost two hundred saxophones this year. Really? really? Wow. Everything from a little soprano about this big, all the yeah. way up to a bass uh, bass sax that stands. I was thinking about, about what brass instrument four and a half feet tall. What brass instrument pl uh, players do they make fun of? And ju I just remembered uh, that it was trombones. That every, it could be. Yeah, everybody jokes about like what? What's the difference between a a, a, a snake crossing the road and a trombone? <laughs> You run over the trombone. Thank you. Yeah. You know. yeah. <laughs> that could be. I don't know. Uh, you're hear reading all, from hear Alan's uh, list of jokes, aren't you? <laughs> really? Is well, that the best? There was, there, was no, there was there was no Republican involved there, so I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, is that the best joke you could come with up with about me telling a joke? It wasn't a joke. It was true. Your joke was horrible, like mine. Well, one, it, this one was <laughs> terrible, but I, I, I hit pretty good odds, right? I, I, I think Kevin's right. You didn't bring up uh, any Republicans. What? Like I do. Why would I bring up Republicans? Never mind. Well, I, I had a discussion. I think I, was, I just had it out here with with uh, Lori. Oh no, maybe I had it off the air with her, because her husband is a is pretty much a Republican. But I said, you know, I have nothing against Republicans. I have nothing against conservatives as long as they are decent human beings. You know, it, it, and nobody says that because you're a Republican, you have to be a terrible human being. Uh, it just Trump makes that a must. For people who want to be part of his MAGA, you got to be terrible human beings towards other human beings. But you know, so, he put that he put that label on them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, 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 there's no reason why Republicans have to be assholes. Okay, it's not a requirement. Many, huh? many good Republicans. Many good Republicans. Yeah, Absolutely. they're decent Republicans. Let's call it that yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. Reasonable. Uh, Let's yeah put that on reasonable. Republican. Well, Marjorie today was saying to me that uh, you know oh gee all these Republican candidates have all come out against uh, Colorado's decision to not let Trump r run in their primary, and um, I told her that I said well how about how about Chris Christie what did he say and then I saw what he said and I said Chris Christie's right he's taking it from the standpoint of having been a attorney general and looking at it and saying it's not legal to do you know and that that should not be the way that we may make uh, Donald Trump not be able to run for president the way we do it is we just don't vote for him you know and we yeah. do it at the yeah. ballot box well, supposedly so why it's do written, we have a constitution that's right it, it the way it's written is pretty vague it's not vague is it it's, it's, it says yeah, it says right there that if you, you know, if you participate, participate in an insurrection, in insurrection right? But you know that that's the argument is how. I think it, I think it's item number three. Has he been? Yeah. Has he participated Amendment. in it? That's the that's the big argument. Well, that's one of the arguments. The other argument is that. Um, that could be stated. Some people say they don't know how the Supreme Court's going to go on this thing. And I told Marjorie, I wouldn't be surprised if they come out against Trump on this because they would probably say it's a state's rights issue. Okay, and the state decided blah, 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 and thus and thus, right? Yeah, but it's yeah. based on the 14th Amendment, which is federal. Well, you know what? It, why it was written, don't you? Uh, civil, civil war. Yeah, civil war. Yeah, civil war. Of course, they didn't want anybody who had participated in the civil war to be able to run for president. Okay, and it, the, somebody argued today. But, I think it was Bill Barr. He said the problem with them doing what they did in Colorado is that he never had the ability to go and make his case, and he didn't have the ability 
to uh, 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 be, uh, what was, how do you put it, uh, have, have the right of, of trial on this? I, I think it would hold better water if he was convicted of it. It would hold, yes, right. absolutely. That's the whole point. That's, That's the whole point. That's right. He hasn't been convicted. Well, he hasn't been but, convicted. But, you know, you got to you got to realize that in the uh, Civil War, uh, this thing was written, and people were found not to be able to run for office and so on because of it, and they right. didn't have to go and get tried in a court of law on the thing or be found I mean, guilty. Somebody of it says you can't run for president if you're if you're not over thirty five. You don't get to go and testify and go in court and all of that. It says it in the Constitution. There is no going to court and being convicted. You don't have to be convicted of anything. You're not yeah. 35. You can't be present. Yeah. But well, did he participate? How, how, in what oh, way did he participate? Yeah, yeah I know we all sit there and say that, but he what has, did he do he to been, participate he, in he, it? He hasn't been found he guilty. Over there. Yeah, but he hasn't been found guilty of participating yet. You'll have to be found guilty. And, and that's the that's the part him. that's vague. Is that he hasn't he hasn't been found guilty, but it doesn't say he has to be found guilty. But did he participate? Yeah, but he stood it, there. It, he yeah. said those things, and I agree with all of that shit. But that's what's so vague about that amendment. I mean, you could say that you know, if if I said you know I want to run for president, I I did something like that, then I couldn't run for president. Was there a hearing on this where uh, people pro-Trump and people anti-Trump both got to get up and say uh, how they felt it applied to the hit, this con this situation? No. Well, it was just brought up by the state, and they vote. You know, they voted the for it, Republican which they can do. And everybody, everybody, everybody on that Supreme Court in Colorado was appointed by a Democrat. I don't Probably. Know. Yeah. Probably, yeah. No, not it probably. Doesn't they doesn't matter. Were. They were. No. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Well, but that, still, that's, they can do that. They can do it. They I mean, can that's do the whole it. thing. But I'm. But you know, these people who are saying, like Chris, and if Chris, it goes to the Supreme Court, who are they going to? A bunch of but, Republican. Yeah, yeah, they're going to the Republican. So they're going to say, screw that. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. I mean, you know, look at look at uh, 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 Bush versus Bush versus Gore. Supreme Court ruled in favor of Bush. Yeah. So I have a feeling the Supreme Court's going to rule in favor of Trump. Well, you don't know. You don't you know don't. because somebody may make the case that this is a matter of states' rights and the states can do whatever they want where that's concerned. It, except for it's a blue state. The votes aren't going to really matter, are they? Sure. Yeah, sure they are. But it, because because we're if talking they about do the, do which, it, if one state does it, then a bunch of others because, can follow suit. Because in case you're not familiar with this situation, uh, Alan, uh, this is for the primary. I the Republican that. primary has nothing to do with whether it's a Democratic state or not a Democratic state. So, and and other states will follow suit if they pass. You know, if they get yeah, it. yeah, so. I think the, I think the Supreme Court's going to hear it real soon. I think so. Probably in the next. Well, they have to. They have to. They have to do January. It, they have to do it by January fifth. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah. We'll get a ruling and we'll move on. Yeah. Uh, you know, it could go either way in the Supreme Court. I think. Yeah. Yes, Jeff. Yeah, it can. Turn on your mic, Jeff. You're muted. Is there any? Thank you. Is there any other state that is considering? Yes, there are about six others, state? I think. Yeah. They're waiting in the wings. Michigan, Ohio, a couple others. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it, you know, I mean, uh, I mean, I just don't, you know, I don't, I don't know where to fall on this. You know, it's not that I want to see him be able to run, but I'd like to see an election that hasn't can't be argued okay you know yeah, it, let's, he'll, he'll he'll make something of it yeah if he he'll, he'll, he'll never accept the election if he doesn't win that's, well, that's right. true but, but he will be able to fight it if this prevented him from winning he'll make a hell of a deal out of it you he can make as big a deal as possible how many people made big deals before the 18 year old got to vote really? they did that for decades before they finally let him vote they were sending him off the war to die and all that stuff, but they couldn't vote. I'm not arguing with Boy, you. Boy, 
Charlie is hot about this issue. Yes, he is. Yeah, I, you know, I, I, I agree with Charlie. It's written right. It, it doesn't say he has to be convicted. It's written right in the 14th Amendment, Article Number 3 or something like that, Subsection yeah. 3. It's like Trump talking about how he could do anything he wants as president when the Constitution gives limits on what the president I can think do. They, I think they only applied that amendment, if I'm right, one time. You know. That's all you they need. After Civil War, yeah. Yeah, yeah but one, one time. I mean, they didn't, it wasn't they like... They did it for five people. Five people got kicked out of being able to run for office. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's a, you know, and with any luck, Trump will be the sixth. Well, with any luck, Trump won't be president. But I'm I'm getting more and more worried every day that we live in a country that is getting increasingly more and more stupid. So mm -hmm. I don't understand. He's sitting there quoting Hitler verbatim, and these mm -hmm. people still want him to elect him. He's still winning all the polls. See, yep. I. I I think what the I think what the media is missing in the polls of Biden, where he's got low polls, is he's never been popular person. Who? He, he, Biden. He may be a good president, but he's never been popular in the polls. Even the polls when he ran against Trump, he wasn't popular. But you know, and the and the and the media keeps throwing out that he's the lowest any president. Who cares what the polls say? You know, well, I, mean, he's I, never I, I, I agree with you. The only poll that really counts is the final one that's taken called the Absolutely. election. But, Absolutely. But but it doesn't it doesn't mean that he isn't going to have a rough go of it. You know, right. I, you know, Absolutely. There, there, I agree. there are too many people saying, oh, he's an old fart. He's this. He's that. He's not competent to be president because of his age. Yeah, but Trump's almost as old as him. So I mean, Trump so is what? far more incompetent than Biden. Oh, I think I think what what That's... the trouble with Trump is is he's insane. He's yeah. literally mentally insane. Uh, no argument there. Yeah, I mean, this it's... is a guy that at one point in one speech thought he was running against Obama. More than once, he said it like four or five times in different speeches. Yeah. So I mean, you know. <laughs> is he competent to run for president is the question. Are any of you out there listening who disagree with us? Because this is a rather left-wing panel. Well, we don't know about Brian. We Brian may be a MAGA. He yeah. never tells us. Oh, I don't know. The day we had lunch, he didn't sound MAGA Are you, to me. Let me ask you a question. Oh, he's not a MAGA, but that doesn't mean that. Since, uh, since Brian is the only one with a job here, <laughs> you realize that? The only one with yeah. a job. Are you, 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 I bet you don't talk politics at work at all. Oh, no. Correct. Yeah. Is, yeah. is, that, is that a fiat from the, the business itself that says because you're an executive or whatever, you can't to talk politics to other people who work with you or do you just not want people to know where your politics are because you just don't want no, to have to deal with that no it's just not something we talk about at work sometimes every once in a rare time someone will make a comment about something yeah and then either you laugh at it or something but but there are there are car guys that i that have you know they sometimes they make it clear what side they're on um yeah, yeah the, 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 the 1934 packard with the with the trump bumper sticker that's yeah. pretty clear <laughs> no the ferrari with something um so so those yeah i i just ignore them but yeah but i mean are, are there people that you know do, do not at work not at work okay I mean, I want to know what the workplace is like these days, you know, whether you you get into these conversations with people or whether. Yeah, not at all. Too many other issues at work. <laughs> yeah, I've never discussed politics at work. Yeah. 40, well, 40, that's because you're a liberal in Texas. Well, I, al I always discuss politics at work because it was part of my job. <laughs> yeah, but Brian, don't they discourage that nowadays? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because I, I remember they when they used to do the, uh, do the uh, what did they call it? It was a it was uh, what did they call that training? Sensitivity know, training. Sensitivity oh, and yeah. all that stuff training. They told you not to discuss religion and 
and uh, politics and that sort of thing. You had to stay in the middle of the road all the time and that kind of thing. Wow. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. And then and then there was the time where some of the truckers around Kevin were saying Trump is great and Kevin was twice as big as them and he pinned him against the truck and said, no, you're wrong. That's why I was up. a Republican. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, I, I, it's just a time where I think people maybe don't like to talk about politics at work because it's just it's a hot button. Right now, it's a hot button hot. issue, yeah, and it should it shouldn't be. Do it work. You got to concentrate. You can't be arguing with somebody over politics. Yeah, right? yeah, we argue enough over football. Well, I've lived. I've <laughs> yeah, lived. Exactly. No time to argue about. I got stupid 49er fans at work. I got stupid <laughs> Cowboy fans at work. I got stupid. Raider fans at work talking smack and they're not even in the hunt. Right. They never Gee. stop. But I got these guys texting me during the games. Oh, my God. We're going to be 90. Nobody There's going to be a group of us at 90 years old still talking smack in football every Sunday. I'm glad I don't know anything about football. You know, nobody ever sends me texts regarding the game. Okay, we're gonna play. Okay, you want it? okay. You want it? You hey, want hey, it? okay, okay. We'll get now you in. asked for, it. and Tony's on that too. Hey, just yeah, let you, you think, know, Tony's you on there Tony. too. You so think sometimes Tony's bad? I, yeah, sometimes I go to get a drink or something, go in the fridge, come back, oh, and there's God. like twenty texts from him already. Yeah, they're this long. <laughs> and he one says like three words sometimes. One line. You can't, you can't put it all Another. in one. They got to be a half a sentence in each one. Oh my God! Really? Or two words. I'm gonna Nobody be like, ever well, let me read some of his classics. By the way, every morning I get a beep on my phone. <laughs> well, what <laughs> happens is this. whenever Tony leaves a message, it comes up on my watch and my wrist buzzes. So after a while, I feel like I'm getting electric shocks. You know, it's like <laughs> a seizure. But uh, uh, okay, okay. well, as you know, as you know, last right, hey, you can barely see. Okay, there's Tony, right? There's Tony. That's Tony, Tony, oh, yeah. Tony, 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 Tony. And look at there's like three words there: Tony, Tony, yeah. Tony, Tony. Charlie, they should fire him. They fire him. He's a he's no good. He's no good. Well, he's you know, hot. Brian, somebody yeah. should send him the book on how to create a paragraph. I've tried. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Well, so I I, uh, I have. Um, Oh, I'm on mute. It, but yeah. What and I hate, I what, what I hate about my, what I hate about my birthday, <laughs> is what happens. Like Monday was my birthday. In case you don't know. Yeah. And, oh, happy birthday. And uh, you know, Facebook puts out a thing to everybody who's on your, one of your friends, yeah. and I have like five thousand friends. So it says if you why don't you wish Alex a happy birthday? So they just check something or whatever. And they, it's just happy birthday, Alex, right? It this comes year, up on my this phone. This year, so I right. got almost 400 of them. Oh. Well, you know, if I want to go through all of those, it's impossible, right? And <laughs> That's I get, why I text you. Huh? That's, That's why I send you a well, text. Well, you send me a text, yeah. Then right. I, I, I can thank you back. You did thank me back. Mm. You know. Uh, but uh, uh, I, uh, you know, I mean, but when I have to go through all of these, and I go through all of them, I, I just want to see if there's anybody in there that I know that I really want to say thank you to. But oh, I mean, it's just, really? no. I, I dread my birthday, and then, <laughs> then well, I, I should get rid of all of them now, is what I should do. But there was one that said I have 350 more, and one that said I have 13 more. So it's about, it's about 375. Uh, uh, happy birthday messages. Come on. Jeez. And you know, Almighty. 300 of them, you don't even know these people. I don't know 500 of the people, 5,000 of the people who are my friends for crying out loud. And I wonder how much, many of them are dead now. You know? I thought about sending you See, a walker. You're your still birthday. a big shot. You say you used to be one. Yeah. Well, I bet Howard Stern gets more than I do. Mm -hmm. He's only know. got five thousand too, so that's yeah, he's only got five. He can only have five thousand too. You're right. <laughs> yeah, that's the max. You can't have more. I don't know why they put the max at five thousand. You know, they're cheap asses. They don't have big servers. I mean, yeah, I got most. Nobody of... really knows five thousand. <laughs> well, I hit five thousand when I was at Sirius XM. Yeah. 
and really? so I just kept getting them over the years. And mm -hmm. people drop out, you know. I had uh, one person who was working to get everybody to not subscribe to me any longer, and I lost <laughs> about fifty. But I had fifty people waiting, yeah. so it was no problem, you know. But uh, uh, you know, it, I, I, it, you know what it does? It cheapens the word friend. Yeah. You know, it yeah. just cheapens it completely. You shouldn't, what, what friend? That's it's what like, we call Facebook friends. Yeah, he, he, another one they cheapen is the word star, you know? Oh, what about the commercial, the workday commercial? The, uh, so workday is a HR, HR um, software package that they use. Mm -hmm. And they, uh, they say, oh, hey, Bob, you're a rock star. And then you see mm. like... Uh, Ozzy Osbourne came out and looked at him and all these rock stars, all these old rock stars looking at him. It's a great commercial. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, that's another one that's been cheapened. Yeah. Oh, you know one's, the one that really bothers me? Genius. That's it. You hit yeah. it. Genius. Because what it essentially does is cheapens the word genius. And if you call somebody a genius, this is really going to be disappointing to Albert Einstein. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, oh, that uh, that uh, Leonardo DiCaprio is a genius. Yeah. What? You know, we never have to worry about somebody saying Tony Maga. Uh, uh, Tony Magno is a genius. Why don't we do that? Why don't we just start that? Tony Magno is a genius. Genius. Yeah, he is a comic book genius. I guess he's a smart guy. I'm not richer than all of us. He is an expert. He's not a genius. Okay. With comic books. Yeah. You know. I mean, what? Yes, yes, Jeff. I used to. You're muted, Jeff. No, he's not. Don't say it. Don't say it. You know. Yes. So I work with this startup company that started in, in Connecticut. And uh, Jesus, why they that? actually found something that was done in Russia, but they never produced it. And so they got all these patents. And they were about surgical devices. Yeah. Okay? yeah. For like using staples instead of sutures. Mm -hmm. so, so I worked there for like two years. Everybody there. Most of the people were there for about two hours, two uh, years, and then they got fired. <laughs> they just fired everybody at that place all the time. And it was just that crazy place. And so everybody knew those people because you had so many what I would call friends, and they would go one day a year that they would all go outside and get, have drinks and stuff like that. Well, a guy died about a week ago. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, are we going to go to his funeral? And everybody said, no way. Yeah, so, look at all the staple guns you'd have to take with you. That's right. He's exactly. probably got them all in his house. Well, you know, I, that, that, what was the other one that, oh yeah, the, the thing that always bothered me was Apple, with their genius bar. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. That's a joke. Yeah, them are, but I just, <clears throat> I, just, I just feel we throw those words around, man. Yeah, yeah. You know? Uh, it's like calling Trump president of the United States. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that sure lowers that class of words. Yeah, yeah. Well, he certainly lowered what being president is. Let me put it that way. Absolutely. If, yeah. I mean, did we ever think he, when he was running that he was going to be that terrible? I did. And and by the way, any of you people out there are thinking about voting for Trump because really it's just a bunch of bad publicity he's getting. This Shoot guy is right telling now. you in every speech he makes what's he what's he's going what he is going to do when he is president. Like for instance, uh, from day one on day one, he's going to be a dictator. He's going to be a dictator. Now day two he does says he's not going to be, 
But name a dictator who on day one was a dictator and on day two said, well, but I'm not going to continue being a dictator. <laughs> you know. Um, I often thought a dictator was just a spud that looked like a penis, but, you know. That's what I thought. Yeah. Hmm. And then I realized it's a, it's a Trump that looks like a dictator. But anyway. It, it looks like a penis, yeah. yeah. Really. You know, I, I, I always used to be bothered a little bit with people who go, well, he's like Hitler. Because I felt that was, you know, giving too much credibility to Hitler. Uh, the fact was that I, I, I kind of decried that because I thought it was a cheap shot, you know. And now I'm beginning to think it's not a cheap, cheap shot. I go back shot. to the day that he came back from that hospital and stood on the porch. Oh, yes. That day, coming back from the hospital and got off the, the helicopter and stood on the porch. That reminded me so much of Hitler. Yep. You remember that day? Or, or even Mussolini. I mean, Mussolini, he, yeah, he, exactly. he tends to remind it me. Just, he tends I to, looked at that and yeah. I looked at him and he, I said, hope, you know, don't record this but he should have been yeah yeah right then and there yeah well you know we I, there were a lot of us who secretly were hoping that the i mean it, he was standing there with the helicopter going and his hair blowing and his head up and I, the I lights on believe, him and he was just like i this. just can't believe nobody ever took a shot at him i'm glad they didn't but i mean well i just it, I'm just surprised nobody ever did. I think there it's were a lot of us, hard. though, that secretly harbored a desire for him to get a bad case of COVID. Okay? Yeah. Because he got COVID. And he did and, get a bad case, but they covered that shit up. They, pushed, they shot him up with everything. They covered that shit up, yeah. If he'd yeah. been an ordinary person, he'd have been dead. Yeah. Yep. Uh, but he wouldn't have gotten the help or the care. The Lysol, right. the Lysol right. works. The Lysol works. Yeah. Yeah. The Lysol Clorox. does work. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. How many CCs? Clean, cleans like a white tornado. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, you know. Uh, yeah, I, I if you, still, if you look, people, I still if you remember people, that like it was yesterday. when I If you that. people vote for him, I'm saying this not out of any dislike for Donald Trump or any hate for him, but you vote for Donald Trump and you're voting against democracy in this country. Yep. They don't care. I I would tend to agree with you on that. <laughs> I don't I don't know that they don't care. I think they don't know. No, I, they've actually been at, at the MAGA event. There are people who said, "I don't care if he's a dictator as long as it's Donald Trump." They'll come out and say it. Yeah, but they don't know what they mean by that. I don't think they understand what is actually behind that statement. You know, I don't think they understand that they're giving away democracy when they're when they're saying that. Yeah. But they don't, they don't understand. If you go up to any one of those guys and say, okay, tell me what, you know, article whatever is the Constitution, they'll go, uh, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Yeah. I'll have yeah. to go look at that. So you know, what, they don't know. They're standing out in the street just going, Trump, Trump, Trump. That's all they're doing. Alan? Yeah, so when Trump ran the first time, he told the people in West Virginia and somewhere else that, wherever they uh, mine coal for electricity, that he was going to bring them back and use coal to power our plants to make electricity in this country. And that was the first state that he canceled the Affordable Care Act. Yeah. And all they, they, they didn't get the, the mine coal and all of them lost their health care. That's what happens when you're naive to who you're voting for and don't know what. The could, hell he you're just, could he just could uh, he just rescind it in one state? I think that was something. No, he, did. he tried, but he, oh. tried. Oh, okay. well, he tried. So why did you vote for him the first time, Alan? What what did you like in him? <laughs> you voted for him the first time, right? No. Oh, I thought you voted for him. I no, you did. not the first time. You never voted for Trump. I didn't say that. Okay, so when you voted for Trump, what did you see? No, I, it's an honest question because nobody's going to call here who wants to vote for Trump. So maybe you can give some insight of what you saw. Well, and I, I, I just thought that he was going to be better than Biden, even with all his problems. 
No, no president's perfect. What? Now let better me ask you this. Biden. Let Wait me ask you this. We're not. We're not. Than we're, Hillary. we're not assailing. Biden. We're not. I voted for him in twenty twenty. We're not assailing you on this. Okay. Yeah, we're not. We're just asking. No. That's all. Uh, okay. uh, what we're doing is we're, we're ask, just asking you, and then we'll assail you. Uh, yeah, that, uh, forever. <laughs> what so was dark. it made you think that this guy had the ability to be president of the United States? You know, it's a job really you have to study for, you know? Yeah, you, yeah, you know what? He because... didn't have any experience. I mean, he's well, been he four years at that, that point. But... But what, what I think Ellen is looking at is he did have experience, but I can see the people in 2016 because they wanted the quote-unquote experiment because Hillary was involved and a, and a lot of those people were independents like myself that were saying, ah, you know, Hillary, I don't know, and Hillary was having her issues and they decided to take a chance on what was going to happen with them and there was a lot of them. There was mm -hmm. a ton of them. Mm -hmm. And I, I saw all those interviews and all those people said, well, we can give them a chance. But I think a lot of those people didn't really take into consideration that there was four years that they were going to have to put up with this crap. <clears throat> and then when the fourth year came around and saw what happened during those four years, they went, holy shit, we're not going through another four years of this crap. Yeah. And I think, the I second think round. My vote didn't really count. <laughs> yeah, but but also I think California, I think California people don't. I mean, New York people really know him compared right. to like California. California, right. well, you, you, maybe you, yeah. maybe some people do see you know, oh wow, this guy wants to shake things up, and he sees all this and this, and then you know, other people are saying he's a crook, but then the New York people they really know he's a crook, you know. Well, you know, right. sometimes sometimes you think that um, uh, there's a notion. That occasionally, if we would just vote for somebody who isn't in politics, you know, yeah. they'll, well, I, they'll, I, they'll shake the whole what, thing up. I stood in the booth for a long time. What do I do? What do I do? This one or this one? This one or this one? And I stood in there for a long time, and I almost pushed the button. Yeah. Being an independent, I was saying I, I really didn't want Hillary. But I didn't mm -hmm. want, I went third, you know. I, went I had no, party. no love for Hillary, but. I just couldn't see voting for Trump. But then again, I've lived in New York, and we know what yeah, Trump. Yeah. No, New Yorkers more than anybody else in the country should have been the canary in the in the coal mine. You know, mm -hmm. we knew yeah, about Trump. We knew what he was capable of. What? What? Yeah, that was my point. I can understand in 2016 because all these people around the country didn't know Trump, but but 2020 they had seen that in 2016. Yes. He had promised to bring back all of those coal jobs. He didn't bring back a single one. Yeah, well, that's my point. My, that's my, my point. Thought, he had that. He had my that. thought was he had promised to give us better health care, and instead he tried to take away the health care we had without giving yeah. us anything in return. Except it was a for no brainer. My, the second. Except one. for my thought was that in 2020, when I voted for him, my thought was we know what we're getting with Joe Biden. We don't know what we're getting. And Joe Biden has always been a man behind the big man. He was, I mean, he did a lot when he was, when he was vice president with Obama because Obama allowed him to do that. Good on Obama. You know, that was, that was a, a smart move. He, he, but, you know, but, you know, I just, it, it, you know, when you get in the, well, you see, one of the things Obama was smart enough to do was to make Joe Biden his vice president. And I'll tell Absolutely. you why. Because what he knew is that, yes, he had some experience, but he was only a senator. He had no administrative uh, 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 history. He, you know, Governors make good presidents <laughs> because they are like uh, running the country is like running a state, <laughs> only when you run it in the state, it's a microcosm, okay? But you learn budgets and, uh, you know, dealing with the police and the military that you have in the state, you know, the National Guard. So you've got all these things that you, you it's kind of like the place to train a president for. Yeah, in the case yeah. of, of, of uh, uh, Obama, um, he'd only been, uh, what, a senator for like two years before he ran for president, right. um, maybe three years. And uh, so consequently, uh, he knew that he needed somebody in there who knew where the bodies were buried. And yeah, then when it came yeah, with I, to negotiating with uh, politicians, a guy who knew how to do it. 
You know, so and that was a very the, smart move on his part. Oh, absolutely. Going, but going into the voting booth but in twenty twenty, yeah, I, 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 I vote for the better to me, the better of two evils because neither one were great. Mm. Well, and, do you think, and, and yeah, I won't right. vote for Trump again, but we're gonna we're gonna end up in that in twenty and twenty four again, unfortunately, if he gets the nod to run again. Well, let, let me say this. The great thing about Hillary, and I didn't like Hillary, but I said this about her. Okay. She was maybe one of the most qualified people to ever run for president in our time because she had been a little bit of everything. She had been the Secretary of State, you know, she had been a senator. Uh, she lady. had been a first, first lady. lady. She knew where the bathroom was off the Oval Office, okay? Absolutely. You know. She just had some baggage. She had some baggage, I, I but as as a person out. who was competent to be president, far more competent than Trump, and that's what made me yeah. vote for. Her. Right, uh, uh, but, Brian. I voted. But do, for her do you too. think people voted for? But do you think a large a number of people voted for Obama because of Joe Biden being the vice president? Mm -mm. No, no. Yeah. I I think that they, uh, I think they voted because I got to tell you. Uh, Oh, oh, wait a minute. You're talking about when Trump won. No, Obama. Well, when Obama, Obama. won. Yeah, Obama yeah. won for one major reason. Gave a hell of a speech. Yeah, yeah. He did. You know, gave he a hell of a four. speech. Good looking guy. Yep. Acceptable black man. Okay. If, if Charlie knows what I'm talking about, yeah. you know, he was high yellow. You know, I mean, uh, he, he, he he was he had all the things that made him. I said he was the stealth candidate, you know. He was the perfect candidate, and and uh, he won. He was smart. He was well spoken. Absolutely, well spoken. Yep, you yeah. can Our listen to him read so, the phone book. So just to, yeah. just to clarify, I I voted for Hillary, but then in 2020 I voted for Trump because yep. you you keep going back to Hillary and Trump. But that wasn't the case. I voted for Hillary because she had been through all this stuff, and Trump was who knew what the fuck he was here in California. But in 2020, I looked at him and Biden and wished that neither one were running. But I had four years of Trump, and so I knew that he wasn't going to just be able to get whatever he wants because Congress got in the way. Well, it wasn't just that Congress got in the way. He Tr wasn't, Trump got he wasn't, in the way. You know. Congress, well, the Senate and, and Congress got in the way of him canceling the Affordable Care Act, building the wall, and doing a lot of the crap he claimed he was going to do that he couldn't do because he didn't have the final say so in it. Well, you know, I, I mean, didn't like his racism and I didn't like his sexism. Well, I think that would be enough to disqualify him in my okay, book. Okay, well, yeah, okay, but, but. You know, you I didn't, didn't, know, you I didn't know much about lying all the time. I didn't know. I didn't know much about Biden either. So, mm -hmm. well, you, well, you should have if you paid yeah. attention because yeah, he's been in Congress for thirty six years. Yeah, yeah. He's been yeah. around for quite a while. Yeah. There was a thirty four. You could so look. You funny. could look up his entire record and see what he voted he on, didn't known vote on, for getting things done as well. I mean, yeah. I what I held against him was that uh, confirmation for the Supreme Court yeah. and the way well, he handled Claire what's her Powell. name. Uh, what, what was her name? I forget now. Uh, 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 yeah, these are two old farts trying to remember her name. Watch this. Um, but, yeah, crap. I mean, she. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's three now. <laughs> That's three now. Okay, Jeff, go ahead. He knows the name. No. No way. I picked Jeff because I don't know the name either. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the I way. Can see her face. Yeah, the, the way they he treated her yeah. was yeah. enough to turn me off to Joe Biden. Right. You know. Oh, that's why I voted for Trump. No, it's not. I mean, I hated Bobby Kennedy. You know why? Everybody loved Bobby Kennedy. I hated Bobby Kennedy because he was the guy sitting to the right, or to the left, rather, or no, to the right. Of Joe McCarthy at the McCarthy hearings, he was he was one of McCarthy's aides. I, I have made mistakes. You didn't know with... that, Charlie? No. Oh I yeah, have... no. He yeah, Roy mistakes. Cohn sat on one side of him. He sat on the other. <laughs> wow. Yep, I made mistakes before, and that was a mistake to vote for for uh, Trump. 
but we're a blue state, so you need a lot well, of people. Well, yeah, what I was going to say, when you state. mentioned that before, I had to agree with you that you, you go vote for Trump again. You know, it doesn't matter like, because California. You, the California is going to go blue, and or it's an electoral York, York co it's an electoral college. So they boil all your, you know, right. votes down to like what seventy nine or something. I won't. I won't, I con I won't vote for Trump again because because all the <laughs> shit that he did. I mean, the January sixth thing was enough for him to lose my vote. You know, he could he could he could be running for the king of the toilet paper factory. And I wouldn't vote for him after what he did on January 6th. Yeah. He's a piece of shit. Yeah. You know, for that. And it, I think it's obvious to any person who looks at it that if he does get elected, then he's never going to leave. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, well, I, I he agree. is going to leave in a box. <laughs> you know, because yeah, he's going to just take over for him. We'll never have One another election. Kids. One of his kids will. I don't think well, anybody. Would, I don't think anybody would vote for his kids. Will. You know, I don't think they have to. What if he becomes a dictator? I don't think it matters. I'm not going to be around to see it. So you know, well, my kids will. We're talking way in the future. Well, I don't have any, so I don't have to worry about. Neither do I. So I guess I don't have to worry about it either. Oh, yeah. My daughter's got to put up with this shit here in Texas. I mean, I could I could vote for Trump in New York, and it wouldn't matter. No, she doesn't, Charlie. You could pay and move her. It'd be a good dad. Give her some money. Get her out of Texas. <laughs> I would do it in a heartbeat. I would I, if I if I were younger. Let's say I were forty years younger. I'd be looking for a way to move out of this country. I really would. It scares me. Yep, uh, I agree. You know, I mean, yeah. not only is it uh, not only do we have a uh, a case of rampant anti-Semitism going on here, yep. which I think and one of the people we ha who we can blame for that is Netanyahu, who has created that element of it. Absolutely. Did you see the Did you see the statistics today in Gaza? Twenty thousand people dead. Yep. You know, I'm going to say there's a lot of people that were killed, but I don't think they have a real number. It's hard to really know. There's a lot of people that's buried under the buildings that they can't. Yeah, from. I'd say maybe more, but probably that, that, more. But but uh, mm -hmm. I mean twenty thousand, and then you put that up against twelve hundred, which was the number in Israel, and you're going, what isn't right with this picture? You know, it's just disproportionate. What isn't right? Hamas attacked Israel. Well, what it, what it did, what this has done, is turn the world against Israel. Mm -hmm. When they were all on Israel's side the day after that happened, you're not pro-Israel, so why would you care? I, 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 you know, I, but, but I don't. You know, if you're Netanyahu and you're the guy who runs the country, you'd Netanyahu like Netanyahu is just like Trump. He's another idiot. Oh, of course. Yeah, maybe but, even more dangerous than Trump. But what he did, I mean, was create an element of rampant anti-Semitism. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and. Uh, they say, well, you know, the Gazans hate the uh, Israelis. Well, wouldn't you? Right. You know, at this point? Huh? What Anita Hill. Anita Hill. Anita Hill. Wouldn't you hate Anita oh, Hill? Uh, no, that wasn't what you were trying to say. <laughs> yeah, Anita Hill. <laughs> yeah. I had to find it. it what was the off. name of the guy who was going to be president, and he was a third candidate? Perot? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bro. Yeah. Well, lift up the hood. We're going to check under the hood and see what's going on. I, mm -hmm. You know, there were people who were hot for Perot for the same reason I think they were hot for for, uh, for Trump. I mean, yeah. that, that idea that it's the outsider. Yeah, yep. Let's go for the yep. outsider. Yeah, I'm voting for the outsider. Yeah, I like I, I, Perot had an interesting line when he was in the debates with Clinton. He said, making Clinton president is like making the clerk at the 7-Eleven the CEO of Walmart. <laughs> a, a quote. Well, from, I think that's a little unfair. Well, but, because, but, that's, that, but that he said that in the debate, and I thought, boy, this is a guy that I definitely don't want to be president. Yeah, well, Clinton, Clinton, Clinton was a, 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 a successful governor. Oh, I, I like Clinton. I think he was one of the best presidents we've had in my lifetime. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I just wanted Perot because I know he could have written off the deficit with a check. 
Back then, yeah, back then, not now. <laughs> Trump, Trump could never would have bounced. He was, right. like, he was the funniest character. He got the voice going and the short, you know, oh my God, yeah. it was so funny. And he quit twice, remember? Well, he, remember, he quit. Bro, yeah. He did quit. Uh, right. He said that somebody, something was happening with his daughter or something. Somebody Bullshit. threatened his daughter or something. He was and dating I'm, Trump's wife, one of his ex-wives. Well, I'm, I'm, I just was going, uh, really? You're, you're, you believe that to be true? I mean, it was some kind of paranoid conspiracy that didn't even exist. You know. Well, that, now, now we got somebody that's a paranoid conspiracy that does exist. Well, my business manager Running against Biden. My business manager was really hot on Perot. Hmm. You know, uh, which made me you know watch my receipts. You know, so, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, and I never and I never bring it up to him again. You know, uh, but I I couldn't bring myself to vote for Perot. Come How on. many votes? What percentage did Perot get? Yeah, I think he got twenty percent, maybe fifty. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. It was yeah. Get that much. I, I mean, he he had a successful bid, and he screwed it up himself. Yeah. You know, I think he was up around thirty percent at one point. Wow. And when you're talking about thirty percent, and you've got two other people running, that's yeah. pretty much close to winning. Yeah, well, absolutely. You know? uh, because all you have to do is win a majority, right? There's nothing that says you have to win. Uh, no, you have you to win. Have to be the, you get the more more votes, more, than, more anybody votes than anybody else, but it's not like so you have to. It doesn't have to be fifty percent or more. No. My states. Yeah. So. Realistic. Anyway, eh, what the hell? So I've been waiting for my camera to go out because my camera has been glitching for some reason. It's working great. Well, it was a little couple of glitches, but nothing bad. I sent you a cane and a teddy bear. You want me to send you a camera too? <laughs> no, I, 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 I have a camera I'm going to get here. You know, but uh, send Phil the bill. No, way, this it went glitchy. It went glitchy for a while before, and then it stopped being glitchy. So I, you know, I have no idea. Uh, the technology is amazing to me. <laughs> Do you have a Brio? Is that what you're yeah. using? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm using right now. I have two other cameras sitting here in case the Brio goes crappy on me. You know, oh. in which case I can just switch over to the other camera. Hey, they, they, they're well written as to be a really good camera. Yeah, but there are a couple others that are better now. Yeah, a lot better. Believe yeah. it or not. <laughs> but you know, it, it, uh, it, they made by Elgato, the cat. Elgato is one of them. They have what they call a uh, an Ultra, I think it's called. And then there's another company. Uh, uh, I'm trying to remember. It's it's the one that I use here. Razor uh, makes a makes a very good camera. It's one that I use here. I'm sitting here, uh, and uh, it is uh, it's a 4K. But so he's going to rush out and get the 8K model now. Oh yeah, right. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'll be happy to sell him one, okay? You know. There you go. I'll, yeah. I'll send him a little box with a hole in it. We'll say, nothing like the old pinhole cameras, you know? But uh, uh, He's going in for surgery on Friday. Do you know that? Is he really? What, what for? Yeah. Hernia. Hernia. Yeah, they, and they can't, do a, they can't do it orthoscopically. They've Laparoscopically. Go orthoscopically. Laparoscopic. Laparoscopic, whatever. Endoscopic. Anyway, so yeah, well, I, 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 I could say, yeah, laparoscopic. Is, I, is, is it hurting him? Yeah, it's really. Hurting oh, okay, him. because I have a hernia that's not hurting at all, and it's it's yeah. huge, but it's a lot of people have them that they don't hurt, and there's yeah. no reason. Yeah, yeah. Surgery. So, yeah, it's mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so we're okay. Anyway, I'm playing the theme <laughs> mainly because I'm just going to get right out of here. Uh. Hey, your birthday was on the what day was your birthday on the day? Monday, the 18th. Oh, there she is. There she 18th. is. So my, she, I was I was born eight, <laughs> ten days. It looks later. like she's using Alex. beauty products. She looks so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> she looks so young. Hey, you need you to get the like better you. quality yeah. stuff. What happened today? Wait, what? what happened today? What happened? Hurry up! You say it. What? What happened? I don't even know what you're talking about. 
I can hear you. That show is ending. Well, we got to go anyway. Now, Brian, Brian, text me, text me your address, and I'll send her a. Oh, gift, she got her ear. Gift card. I'll get her a gift card to Victoria's Secret so she can get. Yeah, she got her ears pierced again. She let them oh. close up before. Now she got. I have my ears pierced. Uh oh. Two, two of really them hard. here. Yeah. Anyway, hey, that's it. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, uh, Charlie. <laughs> Thank you to Brian and his. Uh, Lovely daughter, Adrian. Look at her. Isn't she adorable? Uh, and <laughs> Stay look at her shirt. Santa believes in me. Oh, oh. <laughs> is Santa going to pay a visit to this show? On, uh... He's oh, on maybe. Show maybe right maybe Santa will be on there. Well, <laughs> if the moths haven't gotten to the suit, maybe we can have Santa on this show on Friday. Hey, listen. Thank you very much, Alan. And thank you very much to our good friend, Kevin. <laughs> Uh, and good night to all of you. Uh, everybody wave a big good goodbye and I'll wave a big goodbye at you, okay? There they go, folks. That's our citizen panel and uh, they're gone for tonight. Uh, and so am I, actually. Uh, uh, stay tuned. Uh, you know who's next? Amy Manuel with The Intersection. Uh, she'll be using Skype at GabNet Live. I'll see you again uh, tomorrow, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Night, everybody. <laughs>